Hi foxes! It's story time again! Super excited! Um, I have another scarecrow book here for you. Um, it is called The Lonely Scarecrow. So this scarecrow kind of has um, a different feel about his life versus um, some of the, um, the other book that I just read to you last week. Okay. I really hope you enjoy it. The um, illustrations are cute. Um, it has a nice message at the end. Um, and then um, we'll talk about it, okay? So see you after the story. The Lonely Scarecrow. In the middle of a field under a sky, the color of cornflowers stood a scarecrow. He had a scary face, but a kindly heart. More than anything, he wished that the animals and birds would be his friends. But the creatures of the field were afraid of the scarecrow's flapping coat and big black hat. They were afraid of his beady eyes, his crooked nose, and his jagged metal teeth. In the spring, the scarecrow watched the animals play at the edge of his field. He watched the birds as they made their nests. He watched the carefree tumblings of fox cubs and rabbits. He listened to the noisy ducklings by the old pond. And all the time, the animals watched the scary scarecrow. But they never came near. Each day, the swaying wheat in the field grew taller. The scarecrow lost sight of the animals. He lost even the happy song of the lark, drowned it out by the whispering of the wheat. Marooned in his golden sea, the scarecrow lost hope of ever making friends. The combine monster came to harvest the wheat. The animals hid from its churning jaws and the ravaged acres of mud and stubble that it left behind. They also hid from the scarecrow, who stood alone now in the empty field. From the north came a sly breeze that stole the leaves from the trees and the light from the days. The animals hurried home to their warm burrows and cozy nests, and the scarecrow felt even lonelier, for he knew that winter was coming. Snow fell heavily one night and kept on falling. It fell on the bare, still woods and on the silent fields. Slowly it covered the ground where the scarecrow stood. In the morning, the animals woke to a world that had changed. A thick blanket of snow covered the frozen earth. The scarecrow seemed to have vanished, too. In his place stood a jolly snowman. The creatures played happily in the field, rolling and tumbling in the snow around the scarecrow. And the scarecrow, well, he was as cheerful and bright as the sunny winter day. Although he was happy, the scarecrow was afraid of what would happen when he lost his snowy coat. He was afraid that the animals would shrink from his twisted shape. Most of all, he was afraid he would be alone again. And then the snow began to thaw. The snow slipped off the scarecrow's shoulders and dripped from the brim of his hat. When the last patches of snow fell from his face, the animals looked up in wonder. Could the friendly snowman be the same scary creature they had feared for so long? As the warmth of spring stirred the brown earth, the scarecrow felt a bird peck at his hat and a mouse nestle in the folds of his coat. And the scarecrow knew that he would never be lonely again. So boys and girls, um, I hope you liked it, the book. Um, did you feel it kind of started out a little sad? I did. Until, um, until the animals started to play with him. So, um, <clears throat> it's kind of funny. I think the message that I got out of this is, um, sometimes, um, in about, in regard to friendship, um, in the beginning of this story, the animals um, kind of judged this, judged the scarecrow by the way he looked and um, were afraid of him and didn't really 
bother to get to know um, the scarecrow. They just assumed because of the way he looked that he was scary. And um, at the end when he, or towards the end when he um, turned into a snowman because of the snow, um, the animals played with him and enjoyed him. And then when all the snow melted away, I think the author said something like the animals looked up like in a shock or amazement, like, huh, is this the same scary person that we've been scared of for so long? And um, I think they realized that sometimes it just takes getting to know somebody for who they really are and um, not judging them by the way they look. So that's the message I got out of the story. Um, and I'm sure there's messages that maybe you got that were somewhat different. But uh, friendships are based on getting to know people, not by um, what the way they look. So anyway, I have another great story for you next week. Again, I hope you're enjoying this. Um, some of you might be getting um, a writing assignment to go along with the three um, scarecrow stories that I'm going to read to you. So um, I really, really hope that um, you've been enjoying them. All right. See you next week.